Hey friend, it is your weird creative makeup artist pal Kat to bring you guys another makeup video. Today we're going to do a transformation of one of my all-time favorite movies and characters of Catwoman. Not just any Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer's version of Catwoman. But before we get started, if you would like to support this channel even further, I do have an Amazon wish list to help my makeup studio, and we also have a P.O. box where you can write me as well. Here are some of my favorite comments from the last video. Shout out to these people. And I have to tell you, a lot of people do not like my favorite versions of Batman with Michelle Pfeiffer in it. But I have to tell you, Batman Returns, in this movie, there is Penguin by Danny DeVito. You cannot surpass that up. It is amazing. I think that's one of my all-time top three favorite villains out of any movie ever. And Michelle Pfeiffer just killed it as Catwoman. So I'm going to do my version today that is easier for people to achieve. A lot of you guys requested that I do a video on this because I did a post on Instagram. And I also recreated this for a TikTok for someone else, so let's do it. I'm just going to get my hair out of this ponytail because I'm definitely going to be putting a wig cap on. Especially because I'm definitely getting the blonde hair wig later. And if you want to know where I got my contact lenses from, these are gorgeous lenses from PinkyParadise.com. They're like a cross between a green and a blue. Michelle Pfeiffer has like these piercing blue gray eyes. So I thought this would be perfect. I don't have like the exact eye color lenses for this, but this will do. We gotta prep the skin. I'm gonna put some under eye cream and I'm gonna use a primer. Y'all know I preach and praise this primer, not only because it's affordable, but it works very well. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Primer. To start off this makeup look, I am going to get a white eyeliner pencil and just draw out the cat's, cat woman's mask. Where your orbital bone and like the skull, where your eye sockets would be. You really want reference pictures for this. It almost touches the inner part of the brow. Almost like if you're recreating a skull on your face and where your nose is going to peek through and all the way to there. To where you, like in the middle of your ear is across your cheek your cheekbone to the, like the middle of your ear right right now i'm just gonna get some concealer and start coloring in like i'm a coloring book on the top of the brows because i'm making my brows a little thinner you don't have to do this you can just use your natural brows shape in on top of the eyelid i'll use a brush for this but then i'll switch over to a beauty blender when i get to the bottom of my bottom half of the face under the mask or below it put in the left over here and now the foundation I'm going to use is my all-time new favorite. This is the Ofra's Absolute Cover Foundation. It's very thin and watery, but it works and blends out so beautifully. I'm just going to take my damp beauty sponge and tap it. Just look at the coverage on that. Beautiful. And I'm going to even bring it down on my neck. Also for this look, other than the blonde wig, we are also going to use some cat ears and faux leather jacket. I'm just going to dust all the makeup I just put on, my foundation and concealer with some translucent powder just to set it. Now whatever brow pencil you have and want to use is great. I'm just going to fill in my natural brow shape, but I'm going to make them a little thinner. That's why I put that concealer on the top. You can even put more concealer if you want on the top. We're going to make these brows a little bit more straighter and thinner to get that Michelle Pfeiffer true 90s girl look where their brows were like so pin straight it was frightening sometimes but hers weren't too bad for the era the time the movie was in doing the other brow as well this is just the revlon color state brow pencil it's one of my favorites it's very affordable and it works well it's not too like waxy or creamy it's somewhere right in the middle i even like these better than the anastasia brow wiz now for the signature Catwoman look, I'm gonna dip into this Mel Cosmetics Beetlejuice palette. It has the perfect smoky eye shadow tones that are cool tones. So many natural with smoky eyeshadow palettes are warm tone. So I'm getting the color Shrunken Head first and just pouncing that and blending it all over my eyelid and blending it out into my crease. 
and she even brings it into the inner corner as well. There's no inner corner highlight here, which is my usual favorite to finish a makeup look. This is going to definitely be more grungy. It almost looks like the way she places her, I'm not Michelle Pfeiffer, whoever did her makeup in this movie, they placed it to where it's like they're creating a hooded eye effect with this blended out smoky shadow. I'm also grabbing the same color and blending it on the bottom lash line as well. Again, smoky, smoke show, Michelle Pfeiffer. Now we're gonna dip into the matte black eyeshadow. Every grunge 90s girl's dreams. And we're gonna start pouncing that on the outer corner and towards the center of the eye. Just outlining the eye on the top and bottom lash line. I always wonder what movies would look like if the actors and actresses had to do their own makeup. How hilarious would it look? But then it would leave people like me out of a job. They even have black eyeshadow in the inner corner here and up here. There we go. We're getting places. I know I'm doing all my eye makeup now, which sounds weird, but trust me, it's a process and I work usually from the center out unless you have like so much makeup that will crease on your eyelids, but I'm confident my eyeshadow won't crease. So that's why I'm working on eyes first. It's just easier with the painting on the mask later. And I know that Michelle Pfeiffer in this Catwoman movie does not have extreme lashes, but this is my version. I'm gonna have her have some thicker lashes. I'm just putting on some mascara, prep for false lashes. I'm even gonna get my black liner pencil and do my waterline. Now let's try one of these bad boys. I'm just using my Dollar Lash Club glue pen to prep my eyes for some lashes. This is a self-adhesive liner, meaning that I just put this liner on my lash line and fake lashes will stick to it because it's a glue built into a liner. So I don't have to mess with so much lash glue. Just pop that on. Before we move on to the mask, I also want to not forget contour. I'm just using a powdered contour by Ofra. This is their midi contour palette, face palette. Because if I did my mask before this, I'd be dragging wet paint into my face and give myself a jawline. So for the face mask itself, I'm gonna be using Mayron's Aqua Paints for these, but since this is kind of pricey and huge, you could definitely just use like a Bin Nye cream or like these creams they had from Halloween by Wet n Wild or just from those tubes of creams that we used before on here from like Spirit Halloween type Halloween makeups. Definitely use that. Just grabbing any old paintbrush. I get these from literally the dollar stores and start painting the mask. You kind of want to paint a little over that white line and all the way to the hairline or wherever you want, where you think your wig's going to stop. Also, you guys, let me know in the comments what other makeup videos you would love to see me do. There's so much I want to do. I don't know what it is about the holidays, but they inspire me so much to do these huge, like, even series. But it costs so much money to do series of makeups. That's why I appreciate anyone that supports my Amazon list and my channel. Just even commenting or anything. It all really does help. I feel like the woman from Ragnarok. Does anyone remember that? I did that makeup too. This makeup looks easy, but it's kind of hard to get precise line that doesn't streak around the mask aisles. Maybe creams will be easier, I'm not sure. There we go, we're getting places. I feel like I'm wearing like goggles for a scene kid who just wants to go into Hot Topic and live their life back in the early 2000s. This would be such a cute, you know when you want to just be like a sexy whatever for Halloween? Whether it's a bunny, playgirl, nurse, this would be a great one for a cat woman. Not even sexy, you'd just be cute, you know? I'm just cleaning up the fine lines, edges. And if you're using aqua paints, a hair dryer really does help. Just to already prep for my lipstick, I'm gonna take some of the foundation concealer off because I love the lipstick I'm about to use. Now, if it wasn't this makeup, if it was another like full black, something like this, since this is gonna look like latex and shiny, I'm not gonna do this, but you could tap some matte black eyeshadow with a powder puff onto it. Now it is time to grab a thin brush with some white paint. I'm gonna use aqua paint. You could use white eyeliner, you could use white cream paint, but we are going to paint on the stitches. I'm just using a nail art brush 
to really get the detail of these stitches because that's the whole thing. Michelle Pfeiffer built this costume and mask from her two hands. It was super homemade to the extreme. Like she was the first cosplayer gong professional, in my opinion. She's bomb. This is gonna take some time and patience, let me tell you. <laughs> some little X's here, a little crisscross there. I feel like this is gonna really make or break your look. How many of these you could do without messing up? Now, the lips are important. You want something that's shiny and red. Nothing too crazy and glittery like when we did Cruella. This is the best. This is the Wet n Wild High Shine lipstick. It's like a lipstick and gloss on one. This is perfect for this look. Okay, our lipstick is on. The mask is painted. It's time to dress up like Catwoman and put on a wig. This is just, again, a faux leather jacket. Zip it up tight and get your blonde wig. Every time I wear this wig, people are like, where the heck did you get that? And specifically, why isn't your hair this color? Because they think it looks so amazing. I just think it's the cut in the highlights of the wig that looks good for my skin tone or something or face shape i'm not sure but you have to get some bobby pins for this to like pin the sides a little bit away from your face gosh every time i see blonde hair and red lipstick it just reminds me of taylor swift you can even have the hair a little bit messy and because duh we're a cat we need cat ears and just like that, we have turned into Michelle Pfeiffer's version of Catwoman from Batman Returns or my version of that look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do any of my looks, please post on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see it. Thank you so much for commenting and watching. These looks are so fun and I love the red lip and a mask. Can I just wear a mask on my eyes and mouth in public? The red lipstick might get in the way. Again, if you guys like to support this channel even further, I have an Amazon wish list down below and you can write me to my P.O. box too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.